Yo, what is going on everyone? It's Professor Pierce here, PP for short. Today, I have one of my favorite decks that I made. You're probably looking at this and you're probably like, he has finally lost it, he is gone, he does not understand what Pokemon is about anymore, but I guarantee you that is not the case. Once I explain this to you, you'll be like, wow, that's pretty interesting. I didn't know that did that and that it could do this and blah, 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 blah. Um, but you know how I feel about the intros. Uh, we will get right into it in just a second here and I will explain as we go. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a good day. We will go ahead and get right into the video here. So we are facing Fireball for our first match here. Um, the objective of this deck is to start with Solosis and evolve into Ranunculus. Uh, so it seems like we're facing some kind of uh, dark deck here, maybe based on like poison or something. Uh, so we will take our two mulligans. Um, so it seems like we're facing something interesting. So we're going to go ahead and buddy pop in for one of each of them. We're using the, uh, whatever it's called, the, the armorage for uh, acceleration of energy if you need it. And most of the time you don't need it in this deck, but it is good to have just in case. And we also have a Radiant Heatran in here. So, and we have a couple of Magma Basins, so we can put that on him as like a backup attacker if our initial attacks don't work. And you'll see what I mean in just a few minutes. So what we need here is we need some kind of rare candy or some kind of way to live a couple of attacks here to evolve our guy into Ranunculus here. Uh, so let's see what my opponent has. He seems like he's running some kind of ancient box, but a little bit different. Maybe based more on poison damage because I saw the Radiant Sneezler and I saw the stadium in there that has to do with poison as well. So we, we top deck the freaking rare candy, so that's what you want to see actually. Because um, then now what we can do is you can attach the energy there. Then on top of everything else, we actually have the other card in our hand that we need is the Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking. What we can do is we can put on the deck, on top of the deck, whatever two cards we want. And then what we do is we attack with Ranunculus to summon a gate to summon everything on the top eight cards of our deck that are Pokemon. We just take them from the top of the deck and we summon them to the field. So obviously if they get stuck in your hand, you're a little screwed. But in this case, you just need the Ranunculus and you need the Cypher Maniacs code breaking, which is very hard to say, I might add. Um, you need those two and then you're basically set up. And then you like, just like that, boom, you have all these stage two Pokemon in play. So I didn't want to put the, the Armourish in play. Um, the Gallade is obviously in here for the uh, Buddy Search, just cause that's so good. Um, cause you don't want to be stuck like that. Um, but what you can do here is we will go ahead and uh, Buddy Search, Buddy Catch, or Buddy, not Buddy Search, Buddy Catch. Um, We'll grab the Mela probably, and what we can do is since he was just killed, we can use the Mela to accelerate energy to the Charizard, draw some extra cards here, and then we can use the Armorage's ability to fire off a extra one there, and then we can, might as well place the Charcadet down, and then we'll go ahead and attack with the Charizard that you know, didn't even have anything under it. So the TM Devolution doesn't work also, in fact, because it was just summoned to the field like that. So pretty crazy, taking away a lot of the weaknesses of uh, cards like Charizard and stuff like that. So he needs a Sada, which he just discards from the Pokey Stop. So that is quite unfortunate to kill us. So he is in a bad spot here. So we do get the stadium, which is nice. We don't have anything in the discard pile. Um, 
I think I'm just going to Iono. I don't mind giving him two extra cards. I know he's kind of breaking, but we're doing pretty well here. Um, because what I'm going to do is I am going to get rid of this fire energy and grab... I guess just grab this other armor rose here so we can evolve it and we will evolve a couple things here um, but I think first we're gonna buddy catch for something we can discard actually uh, we will discard this and get some fire energies for some backup here and we will evolve this just in case and evolve this just in case and then we'll go ahead and magma basin to the Heatran, so then he takes some damage, and we have some backup here, and then we'll go ahead and attack with Burning Darkness. So obviously that's not gonna kill, and if they do kill me with Frenzy Gouging, that's not the end of the world, because we do have a couple of backup attackers here. But just the fact that we were able to get this thing out on the field and able to attack this quickly is pretty nice because obviously most of the time uh, it is a struggle to get like rare candy Charizard out or rare candy Pidgeot um, I say that but you know every time you face one they get it turn two so I don't know why I'm saying that but they are gonna find the last energy I'm guessing they're just gonna sacrifice themselves since we do have two uh, or not two, we do have the same amount of prize cards, so it wouldn't be bad for him to sacrifice himself because Charizard is a beefy boy. So it's probably in their best interest just to frenzy gouging, so they are gonna do that. So we do get some prize cards at least. Uh, it kinda sucks that we go down some, but we are pretty set up, so I'm not too worried about what the opponent can do here. Plus we get to attack them this coming turn so we will be taking some more prize cards than them so let's see who they want to put out for us so they're gonna put out that which is pretty surprising because they should know that that's just gonna get KO'd here um, so we're gonna magma basin again to the heatran this is like uh, this is like the optimal setup we have we have going on here so obviously we're gonna need one more so we'll go ahead and fire off one more here and then we will Iono them to three I think uh, let me see what else we have in the deck um, I think I might airy them instead actually just to thin down their hands they have switch cart what else do they have okay they have a Sada, so that kind of sucks can't really get rid of that or do anything about that but we will be able to kill their main attacker here which is good and then if they put another two prizer in play then we just we just win the game basically uh, so let's see what they can do here they're kind of they're not like behind now but their board state is definitely behind so they're definitely going to just bring out a one prizer because that is their best bet they're going to Sada which is smart and draw some more cards here. Do they have the switch is the real question. They also haven't been able to poison me yet because they've had the stadiums but they don't have the uh, the ancient booster capsule for the brute bonnet. They just haven't been able to find that yet. So what are they going to do? Are they just going to have to pass the turn? Uh, yeah, it seems like that's what they're going to have to do here. Um, so this kind of doesn't matter what we do here. Um, we might as well... Might as well ion on them, the three. Um, I'm not sure what they had in their hand. Maybe we could have aired them again, but I guess it doesn't really matter. We didn't get anything off of that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just knock them out here. I was hoping we get another Magma Basin, but it was not the chance. It's not the play. We had two of our two, two of our four um, future cyber 
Pecker Krabby Patty guys prize so I'm surprised that we had that one when we needed it at the beginning of the game there uh, so good thing that we did because in that top deck where Kanye just put everything together because honestly we would have had to take another turn to wait to do that so that was just really really good because this is how the deck is supposed to run uh, and it is, it is doing so very nicely so they're going to go ahead and put the moon in play. They're not going to put any energy on it. And I don't think they're going to be able to kill us here. Because they don't have enough in their discard pile to kill me. Uh, especially with my ability tanking a lot less damage. I will be able to take less damage here. So I'm taking a lot less damage here. And we should be able just to fire off this one more card. But we do also get Magma Basin. So that is nice. Because I think that shall steal the game. Either way, we could like swap out uh, Retreat and attack with Heatran. Or we could just fire off here and then attack with the Armorage. And there we go. That'll be the first game here. Um... Wrapping up quite nicely. And what I really like about this deck, and what I might do in the future, is I might make another deck um, like this, but with a different format. Because this one is obviously based on fire, as you can see. Like, you got the Charizard, you got the Incineroar, you got the Heatran, uh, and you got the Armorage and the Charcadet in there. But what you can do is, uh, you can play it with any stage two, like, um, so if you want to make like a water stage two or like an electric stage two, you can do that, which I think is really cool. Uh, so you're definitely not like behind or anything. Um, if you decide to change it to a different one, like it's still possible for you to make a different one. So this hand is pretty decent too. We, um, we have the rare candy ranunculus but we don't have the cypher maniacs code breaking here so we'll just kind of have to hope that we get something in the top eight cards which isn't bad i mean top eight is a lot of cards to look through um and it seems like we are facing the great tusk mill deck which is pretty annoying to say the least especially since we are going to be looking through cards rather quickly um but what, what I think is good for us about this deck that, that we're facing is they go through cards about as fast as we go through cards because of their draw power. Because they're already getting rid of six cards here. They're putting two in their hand and they're putting four in the discard. And then what else that they're doing is if they use Sada, then they automatically... Um, draw three cards too so it's not like they're wasting anything uh i mean it's like it's like they are wasting stuff so what we're gonna do here is we might as well just iono here not a reason not to because we need some new cards that aren't poopy um so we shouldn't <laughs> we shouldn't have iono there just unfortunately because two of our heavy hitters are on top of the deck and we grabbed them which sucks um, so we'll just have to see what we can get here. Um, that is not great, to be honest. We don't really want that. We What we can do is we can just get another Ranunculus here and put it on the bench just in case. And then next turn we can code breaking for hopefully something else. So this is definitely the downside of the deck. What you need, or like what happens, is if you accidentally draw the stage two cards, there's not really a good way of putting them back into the deck. Because you have to Iono, and then you have to Code Breaking again. And that takes a lot of time. Uh, so you just kind of have to... It does come down to a bit of luck, um, as does any deck, to be honest. I mean, you know, this like this mill deck we're playing right now. I mean, if they don't draw the right cards, they're just kind of screwed. Um, 
So it does come down to a bit of luck, but I really like the idea of the deck. I think it's really fun. Um, I really like Ranunculus as a Pokemon too. I think it's a pretty slept on Mon in Gen 5. Or just in general too. And so they're playing a lot of cards too here. They're, they already have less cards in their deck than we do. So decking them out might be a possibility as well. We might not even have to attack them here. So let's see what they get by this Arvin. I guess they're going to get another Ancient Booster Capsule and something else. And what is that? Uh, order Box, I think, is what it's called. Um, or oh, a boxed order, of course. I of course I was <laughs> wrong by just the words being backwards. Um, so that's not a bad card to run in here for sure. I mean, he didn't have uh, the, the ancient um, supporter card played this turn, so he's not gonna be able to mill really anything. He would only mill one card. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. So we got a Solosis. I think I'm going to check what's in the deck with this Ultra Ball real quick. Um, okay, so we do have some things that we can use to put on the bench, which is nice. Because we don't really have a way otherwise to do anything. So we'll put this and this on top of the deck. And then we will summon them to the field. Aya. And somehow we got the Solosis and the Duosion again, which is funny. Um, so, uh, so we should have at least two attackers in this matchup, we, and we have a backup for Nunculus if things go bad. The only real thing is we're kind of breaking now. The good thing is we do have the Buddy Catch, so we should be able to at least get a uh, supporter card off of him. And that's the thing about it about this deck I really like is you can just put stage twos in the deck regardless. So like even though I'm running this as a firebox type of thing, I just put the Gallade in here since it's so good. You can just put in anything you want, like any stage two with a good ability. Like if the Shining Arcana Garnivore was still in play, you could still just put that in here because that's decent. You could put in if you were running like a psychic one. Just for example, you could just put stuff like that in. I'm trying to think of other stage twos, but it's kind of hard there because they just introduced a bunch of stage twos because the stage twos usually used to not be that great. But we will see here. Um, we'll go ahead and attach this to the Heatran here and Iono. So I was hoping we would get an Armor Rose here so we could. Um, but we have one of them already in the discard pile. Um, and so I accidentally misplaced that, which isn't the end of the world. Um, I meant to place it on the Gallade, but, um, so there's no reason to keep him in the active anymore. We might as well start attacking with this thing since they are not going to be able to attack us and 280 damage should be able to kill anything that they have on their bench we just have to do it six times and speaking of which we do get the other arm rose that was apparently prized um, they are still uh, a little less on cards than us so if they keep using the explorers guidance and the sadas they're gonna deck out before us honestly um, it's it gonna be it's gonna be close because I don't think we can take all of these prize cards before either of us run out of cards in our deck. I just have to try not to draw a lot of cards here for sure. So let's see what my opponent is going to do here. He's going to conceal, he's going to draw some even more cards here which is nice. He's gonna put a board on his Comfey. I'm speaking of which, why does he even have a Comfey, actually, which is very strange to have in here. 
Maybe maybe it's just like a pivot. I I don't know. Um, ah, so he's gonna counter catch or something up. He's gonna counter catch your, my other ranunculus up. So that's fair. Um, because I can't really do anything about that. I could fire off some stuff and then retreat. That's the best I can do. But I don't have a way to attack unless I get another energy this turn. So there goes one of our energies. So that kind of sucks. And the Magma Basin. So we also wanted that. Um, so we'll go ahead and evolve this. Um, we'll go ahead and try to do this. If we get a... If we get something decent, what we can do is we can just put like a magma basin or something on top of the deck. Um, that would be good. But the more I think about it, the more he is just going to... Um, he's going to mill us this turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two dead cards on top of the deck. And then when he mills us, hopefully he will just mill um, a bunch of dead cards and then we can draw into what we need big brain i know i i yeah i i i thought this one through guys i'm i'm pretty epic as they say as the kids say these days right i'm sure so he is already down to five cards in his deck here um he is going to put some supporters back in his deck to try to remain into the game here but if he uses um, another explorer's guidance. I think he's just out of cards. So he's gonna mill just yeah, that's good He's just gonna mill a bunch of crap. We don't need um, And then we will actually draw the fire energy. So my freaking plan worked out perfectly if I don't mind saying that I don't mind saying that So we get an Iono so that's great. So that's what we are looking for. We definitely want to use that I might not want to use it specifically for him but in case we get really low we'll have to use it because i don't think this match is going to last four more turns of me attacking so we have to see what he is going to do here So he is going to use the guy. He's going to use the guidance on six cards in his deck left. So he better have something in his deck to, or he better have something in his hand to re-put stuff back in his deck if he thinks he can win. I'm not really sure what his plan is here. Um, that's a lot of energy in the discard pile, which is fine with me. Does he have? He has a super rod. So that's going to at least prolong him a little bit longer. Um, but if he doesn't use the other stuff, he's just going to be milling one card at a time. And that's not going to get him anywhere fast enough to win. But at the same time, if he... Um, if he... Well, you know what I mean. Um, sorry, I, was, I got a little distracted. Um... So I am in a pretty safe spot here. There's not really much that I need to do. I don't even like need to play the game. I mean, I can just attack and kill him um, and take a prize card because I have six cards left and the most he could get rid of this turn is four and then I draw a card. So I would still have one in the deck and then I could Iono again. But uh, it seems like he just went a little too hard in the paint. And um, and he's, he's just kind of ran himself out of a deck here. So I guess he got rid of too many. I wasn't really paying super attention. But I guess he got rid of too many um, like, you know, super rods and stuff like that back in the deck. Because he uh, is now down to zero cards in his deck here so he could attack me for four uh which is what he's going to do 
Um, but I guess that was a glitch in the game because it only discarded one. Um, but I'll just end the turn here and then that'll be it from my opponent. He cannot play any more cards, he cannot draw any more cards from his deck and that'll be game. And so here we go on to the third match here. Uh, we are going to have to mulligan that we had a pretty decent hand if it weren't for the Glade and the Incineroar being there. Uh, if we had some basics, that would have been a pretty cracked hand. Uh, but we're going to play this Heatran out, which is not exactly what we want here. Um, this is not really the best setup either. We are facing some kind of psychic deck, I believe. Let's see what we are facing. Um, my opponent is taking a while to set up. And we're facing Future Box, it seems like. So we're going to get some Buddy Poffins. And oh my goodness, our Charcadet, both of our Charcadets are prized. So that is a little unfortunate to say the least. So we're just going to have to attach and pass the turn here. So you definitely don't like seeing that, but it's not the end of the world. We can hopefully get something going here pretty soon. Um, we do have the Magma Basins, but like the Heatran is in the active spot, and that's not where we want him right now. So this is kind of... Ah, oh my goodness. You didn't hear that. I'm not tired. You're tired. I mean, you probably are tired, but, um, but my opponent has nothing here. He is going to just attach and attack me, um, which I wouldn't say is nothing because what he gets to do here is he gets to attach some energy to his mod here so he can kill me next turn. So I can't attach an energy. I can't afford to attach an energy to Heatra in this turn. Uh, so I guess I'll just go ahead and set up the Magma Basin and then Iono here. I don't want to Iono him because he clearly has nothing. But I need to Iono so I can play the game here. So, alright, so we got a Duosian. That's not bad. Um, we just kind of have to hope that off this next Iono we get a Ranunculus. And then hope that our Summoning Gate is halfway decent. So, I guess my opponent is just going to, it's just going to attack us. He had, whoa, he has a Maridon in here. Uh, I was not expecting that. I guess that is for the Iron Hands and the Iron Thorns in the deck. I was not expecting that. Uh, so he's going to use the generator. He's going to fail the generator, so that's good. Um, always like to see failed generators on my opponent's side of the field. Oh, excuse me, I was yawning. Uh, maybe you wanted some peace and quiet. I don't know. <laughs> That's too bad. If you're watching this video, uh, I don't think you want some peace and quiet. But um, but he's going to research, and he's going to get some more cards here. He's going to generate her again. He's going to fail the generator again. I don't know how many electric energy he's running in here, but this is good for us, to say the least. So he, at least for him, he does have a KO this turn. So that is nice. So he's going to go ahead and KO us and take some prize cards. We'll put up this Solosis just in case um, we don't get anything. I'll go ahead and attach this though because we only need one energy to attack and one energy to retreat. Um, okay, so we did get the Ranunculus, so that's good. Um... What do I get rid of? I think I just have to get rid of the Earthen Vessel. Um, so, okay. So we'll go ahead and evolve this. We'll retreat. And then we will hope for the best. 
And so, okay, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Um, we take those. So we're going to get an Incineroar and a Armor Road. So we don't have to evolve. I mean, it's not like we could since our Charcadets are prized. Um, but uh, we don't have to evolve into the Armor Road anymore because he's just automatically on our bench. And we have a pretty decent hand too because if they kill us, we can Mela and then we can Mela to the Incineroar and attack. And then uh, we can also use the Neo Upper Energy on on the Incineroar if we need to as well. So he's going to put down another Iron Crown here. I am a little bit worried about those things um, just because they boost the attack of the future Mons and that's pretty annoying. But he's going to Iono us here, which is also pretty annoying. Let's see what we get. Uh, we actually get a pretty decent hand off that, so I'm not too mad that we missed our Mela and our Neo Upper Energy. But it seems like this hand is going to be sufficient. So there is the Iron Hands. I guess he could have just Tandem Unit for it, but he didn't want to. Uh, so we are behind some prize cards here, but we should be able to make them up in just a second because what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to counter catcher the Iron Crown and Kill it because that's not like that's the biggest threat. It's just I don't want all that extra damage going and I want to take some prize cards here honestly um, so I'm going to go ahead and Ultra Ball these stadiums away because we don't need them right now. I'm going to grab a Duosion just in case we uh, lose our Incineroar attacker. We need a backup attacker in a minute. Uh, so that was a good area. So we're going to get rid of some cards here. And then we might as well counter catcher the Iron Crown. What it, that's what it's called, right? The Iron Crown? Yeah, I think so. I keep calling it that, but I, I don't know. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll go ahead and kill it with the Incineroar's attack because their bench is full. So we will take our two prizes. Obviously one of them was a Charcadet just because of the odds. Two out of six. So let's see what my opponent can do here he can attack me again for a bunch of damage but he can't uh i mean he could two shot me with this with this guy but i mean i can just kill him back um so i need to find my ranunculus pretty fast so i can get another bit of mons up and we do have this cypher maniacs code breaking so we should be able to um, put whatever we want on top of the deck which in this instance should be Charizard just because late game Charizard does like super super lot of damage as you guys know I'm sure uh, so he is going to he's actually going to peak acceleration he's not going to do the sparkling tackle whatever nonsense that is because um, he's going to accelerate some energy to peak peakly accelerate the energy to his bench here what is he going to attach and to whom i would assume he's going to attach to the um to the iron hands but i'm not sure all right that is what he's going to do and now it is our turn here so we're gonna draw we will attach we will go ahead and magma basin We'll attach it to this guy just in case our Armorage gets killed. And then we will Arvin here. Um, this is not... No, he doesn't have anything we can Lost Vacuum. And we don't have anything else in the deck left that is useful. All of our Ultra Balls and stuff are gone or prized. Um, so I guess we'll just go ahead and use this. Um, all our ranunculuses are in the deck 
So that's something. Um, but we'll go ahead and blaze blast and kill this thing because it is very annoying. And so we will take our prize, the Solosis. That's freaking dog shit. Um, <laughs> but it's whatever. Um, let's see what my opponent can do here. He can't kill us with the Iron Hands, um, and he's gonna Iono us. So that's a little, it's a little annoying. Let's see what we get off of this. Uh, not much. That is for sure. Um, Um, but let's see. He can do 160, 170, 180, and then if he gets a future booster capsule, 190, 200, so he can do 200 damage. Is uh, And then I guess if he had another Iron Crown, he could do 220, but even that wouldn't kill me. So I'm not worried about him killing me this turn. And even if he does attack with uh, Iron Hands this turn, we can just kill it in one hit. Because Incineroar is thick and does a lot of damage for a uh, for a card that was just put into play basically for free, which is crazy to think about. But you do have to get a stage two up initially, so that is the obviously the difficult part. Because I do have a um. I match at the end of this showing you guys how poorly this deck can run if you <laughs> if you get stuck at the beginning of the match and or if they get the nuts um but uh you know that happens with any deck so you know don't be like you know super super surprised that it's like oh my god the deck bricked no way that never happens like that that's just pokemon all right so we finally got the ranunculus here um, we'll attach, we'll Magma Basin, and then I don't want to Iona them here just because they only have the one card. So let me Salvador and just see if I have this Duosion in my deck, which it appears I do not have him in here. So that's not the end of the world. Uh, so we will go ahead and just kill this thing. I'm surprised they didn't attack, to be honest. Um, I guess they didn't want to lose their Iron Hands this early in the game. Because all we need is something to kill a two-prizer here and we win. So let's see what my opponent is going to do here. If they attach and attack, so that's 220, 240. So 240 is not going to kill me here. So they need a future booster capsule to kill me, but they only have one card in their hand. Um, so I'm thinking that it's not a future booster capsule because they would have played it already. So they're going to thin the deck out a little bit more, and then uh, and then switch switch. I mean, sure, I guess. Um, I get. I guess they're just trying to prolong the game. I, I'm not really sure what they're trying to do here. Um, well. I'm just gonna I don't know, to see if I get. That's not what I wanted. Um, I mean, <laughs> somehow I ironed into Rare Candy Ranunculus with only two cards. Um, but that's not what I wanted. But it's not the end of the world. So we'll go ahead and attack this thing and then hope that we didn't give them the future booster capsule for them to kill us here. But even if we do, we still have Ranunculus um, able to bail us out and then attack with something else and then what we can also do is we can get the armorage and evolve it and then fire off and attack and kill something here so let's see what my opponent is going to do here. he's going to use his final generator he's going to fail it he's going to he failed all four generators which is like unbelievable i don't know how much electric energy he's running in his deck but that is 
a rare sight to see, to be sure. So I would be molding if I was this guy, to be honest. Um, okay, so he has the reboot pod, or I think that's what it's called. It's kind of hard to see. Um, so he has the reboot pod here. And that is going to give one t from his discard pile to every future Pokemon that he has. So that can... I mean, that, that really doesn't, like, help him too much. I mean, it... He could attack with... He kind of needs to attack with the Maridon and kill me and hope that he gets a future booster capsule here. Well, he needs basically two future booster capsules or a way to retreat this thing and then another one. Um, so I'm not sure what he's going to do. Okay, so there's one. So he's going to... I'm assuming he's going to retreat with this thing. Or if he has another energy, he could attack with it and then hope that he does enough damage to kill me, which is honestly fair because this thing can hit like a truck. But he is going to retreat. Does he have another one? Um, okay, so he had the energy, so I get he should have attacked with the iron thorns to be honest, but I guess he didn't want to. Um, oh, I guess this thing isn't a feature mon. So I guess it doesn't get the added benefit of the Iron Crown. Um, so we'll go ahead and just attack and end the game here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really like this deck. I think it's very fun, very creative. Um, obviously, it's just a fun, silly deck, so I wouldn't expect it to do very well, um, as you guys will see in just a minute. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That'll be it from me. PP out.